welcome back to my story for today. Today we'll be looking at how to cut a 720 degree peplum. I'll be using this one and a half yard of fabric to cut it. In cutting this type of peplum, you divide your waist measurement by two, then you cut two separate peplum for both the front and the back. So I'll be dividing my waist by fold my fabric into two, then I'll fold again into four. And the waist measurement I'm working with is 26 inches. Divide by 2 will give me 13 inches. So that 13 inches now I'll divide by 6.28. So when you divide 13 by 6.28, you get 2.07, approximately 2.1. So I'll just mark 2.1 round. So on the waistline, I'll be using 2.1 because I'm because I divided by 6.28. So I'll mark 2.1, 2.1 like this. If you want it to have a kissing please, then you add like one inch or two inch extra instead of the 2.1 you can use like four inches that's if you want to kiss please still waistline i think i would love to do that so i'm using total of four inches so i'll just mark the four inches round this is because i want to pleat the waist area that's why i added two inches extra so this is four inches and why for my peplum length the blouse length i'm working with is 23 inches so i'll minus the half length from the blouse length and the half length i'm working with is 14 inches so you minus 23 from 14 you can place your tape on the waistline like this get 23 inches here which is 9 inches so i'll mark 9 inches round like this mark nine inches from the waistline mark nine inches nine inches nine inches mark it all around just mark it all around like this and this is how it will look like so i'll just cut this out before cutting the second bed load So I'll cut another peplum like this using same measurement. So I just folded the remaining fabric into four and I placed the peplum on it and I'll just cut it out. So that's it. You can choose to gum this with a hard stay to make it stand or you can use crinoline on it. So what the essence of this is to make the peplum fuller. So I'll split up one part of it and split up the other part of the second peplum. Then I will join it together so it will be very long. Now I'll just show you how I'll do it next. After joining it, I'll cut lining, same way I cut out the peplum. The same process, the same measurements. Just fold it same way and cut out my lining like this. So for the upper part, it's just a that. So the half length I'm working with is 14 inches. Okay, for the upper part, I'll be using 15 and a half. That's 1.5 inches in my allowance. So I'll just trim off these SSCs I won't be needing. Okay, so for my shoulder slope, after taking my shoulder measurement, 14 inches divided by 2 will give me 7 inches. So I'll mark 7 inches here. And I'll come down by 1 inch for my shoulder slope. Then along the neckline area, I will mark 3 inches. So I'll just connect the line. So I'll connect the line in together. Just 
just connect it like this. Okay. Then for my ample, which is 14 inches, divide by 2, give me 7 inches. Okay. Then I'll come with my arm hook of 1 inch at the center part here. Then from the midpoint, I'll connect 3.5. From that 3.5, I'll just connect it to the 1 inch from my ample curve. Then my belt measurements, 32 inches divided by 4, will give me 8 inches. So I'll mark 8 inches here, plus 2 inches in my allowance. Okay. Then my waist measurements, which is... 18 inches on the waistline. I'll take my waist measurement. The waist is 26 inches divided by 4 will give me 6.5. So I'll add 2 inches extra for seam allowance. At the length, just take same measurement here. Then I'll connect the line from my bust line to my hemming line. Like this. So for the neckline, for the front neck, I'll come down by 4.5 inches. Then my neck depth, that's along the shoulder area, I'll mark 3.5 inches. So I'll connect it to the 4.5 inches. Because I actually want a high neck. You can go lower than this if you choose to. So I'll cut this out. This is just a simple basic body. Okay. So this is for the front part. So for my front start, I'll mark 4 inches. You can use your bust to bust measurement to take this dart. 4 inches wide, then 4 inches long for the front start. So I'll just notch that part. Just knock it up like this. This for the front start. I use four inches here, then four inches. Okay. So for the back part. So for the back part, I'll just place the front against the back, leaving at about one inch for zipper allowance. So this is the front and this is the back. I actually want to make the back deeper than this. So like this is like 4 inches, so I'll take it down to like 5 inches. So I want the back to be deeper than that, so I'm making the back 5 inches. It was exactly 4 inches before. So this is the back neck. I want it to be a little bit low. And this is the front part of my dress. So for the back that I'll just fold this fabric into two like this and notch. Just notch it like this. Then you can make your dart as long as you want. You can actually make it reach almost to like 10 inches, 11 inches, depending on how you want it. Your back that is really longer than the front that. So me, I'll be making this back that 11 inches. So I'll just connect the line like this from the notched area. 11 inches. So this will serve for my back that. Um, please, if you don't know how to make a padded for this peplum top, I'll be dropping the link on how to cut a padded peplum top. You can use this method to do your peplum. Now, if you want a padded, you can just combine the both with you. But this is just based on preference. My clients want a dark top, so I'm just making a dark top and not padded. I will drop a link on how to make a padded peplum. So I just cut out the lining for the peplum. So I also cut lining for the upper part and for my sleeve. It's a basic sleeve, so I'll drop a link on how to cut a basic sleeve. So this is the sleeve, so it's just a normal basic sleeve. I'll just drop a link on how to cut this. It's 
very easy and simple so i'll drop a link on it so this is the lining for the peplon the boss peplon so what i'll be doing next is to open it up i'll open one side of each peplon like this i'll open the lining to one side you're not opening the both sides just one side of it okay i'll also open the other side of the other peplon Okay, so what I'll be doing next after opening all my lining, I will join the lining separately together like this, just one side joining each other separately together like this. Then I'll also do the same thing for the Ankara fabric before using the lining to turn the Ankara. The actual purpose of making the 720 peplon is to make the peplon look very full and we'll still be kissing it after turning it so we'll be kissing it on the upper part of the top so i'll just go ahead now and join it together okay i've turned my lining for both the front and the back i'll just give it a good press turn the both back and the front this is the front part so i'll first of all turn the shoulder with the join the both shoulder together joining the shoulder place the back against the front just like i did then you won't turn the armhole area because there will be slip definitely so you just take your lining like this you ensure the back part is against the sleeve you place it like this then you flip it like this over like this the lining of the front will be against the lining of the back you just place it like this ensure everything is equal then to be like this i'll just pin this up now you just pin it up like this to give your shoulder a very neat look you pin it up to show you how it will look like this way to make your top or your dress to look very neat whatever you are making you do it this way to make it look very neat so i'm just pinning it up to show you how it will look on the right side so this is how it will be like on the right side i just pinned it up i've not sewn it you can see how it's looking very neat so this is how to turn your shoulder so i'll just repeat the same process on the other side right side facing each other right side facing each other that's the first step you place your right side against the right side of the front like this then you take the lining of the right side like this that's why you don't have to turn the lining you turn the armhole unless if it's not if it's sleeveless then you do it another way around you just place it like this like this ensuring it's equal now just pin it up Pin it up. You ensure it's equal, please. Then you pin it up. Okay. So that's just how to do it. By the time I flip it over, you pin it up, you just sew on it direct using half inch or quarter inches. You just sew on it here. You just sew it straight to the end of the shoulder. You do the same thing to that part you sew it then you flip it over so that's it i'll just do just that then we insert our dart remember i've notched for the dart already for the dart we are using our bust to bust measurement that's four inches just notch look at where i notched four inches so I'll mark four inches on that line So where I notched now, I'll just come up by 4 inches and draw a straight line. So 4 inches on the both side. Now I'll draw a straight line. Okay, this is for both side, front that, 4 inches long, 4 inches long. So that's it for the front before I shape in it. So the back side, I'll also draw out the line where I notched. Remember, we notched it while cutting. I said I'll be using 11 inches. 
can make it longer than this but i'm fine with 11 inches so i'll just mark my 11 inches and draw the line you insert your dart before shaping your dress please it's very necessary to do that so on the other side i'll do the same thing 11 inches from where i notch from where i notched mark my 11 inches and i'll draw a straight line to connect to the notched where i notched so this is how the dart will be so on the line straight to where i notched so i'll just sew a straight line here like this then when i get to the back i'll just take it up like that so that's it i'll do just that and for the peplum i've turned it up you can see how long and full is looking you can see by the time we pleat it up to be our exact we pleat it to our exact waist measurement so this is it i just turned it over with my lining you can see i first of all joined the lining together before joining you can see the joining for the lining and look at the ankara by the time you will pleat up this side so that the joining will not show so we'll just go ahead and do that now just turn my shoulder insert my dart before then take the body measurement before attaching the peplum okay for the back part you know the back half length is different from the front half length so i'll just take two inches here and slant it over to the waistline like this because the back is always lower than the front so I'll just cut this out around the zipper area you just connect from this point to this point you mark two inches here then you trim this off just shaping my half length using the body measurement my waist measurement and my hip measurement and I've also inserted the darts for the front and the back you can see the darts for the front and the back so what we're doing next is to attach the peplum to attach the peplum I'll just pleat it all over the half length so that area so i'll just on the that side that front that and the center part of the dress i'll notch the center part of the dress i'll just fold it into two like this two equal parts then i will notch just notch it a little i'll be also i'll also attach a kissing plate at that area at this side the both that the back that for both sides that's how i'll just kiss it all around the half length i will drop a link on where i made of a vivid illustration on this so i'll be using two inches on each of them to attach your peplum i just want to make the kissing plate and i feel it should work together so you attach on each that you keep you pleat on each that the back that the front that and the midpoint of your front dress you notch that area you also attach a kissing pleats there the second dart at the front and also the other that the other side that for the back so for the first back that i hope you guys can see what i'm doing i'll measure 2.5 inches and i'll fold it into two i'll be using 2.5 or 3 inches for each that that's a total of six inches for each that either three inches each or 2.5 depending on how long how lengthy the peplum is so what i'm using is 2.5 inches I'll just do it. and i'll fold 2.5 inches again and make sure they meet each other Okay, you can see how it's looking here to make sure they intersect each other like that okay, that's all for the back so I'll just sew straight so I get to the front that so for 
front that i'll do same thing 2.5 inches that's i'm using total of five inches for both for each that so i'll just repeat same process to the end of the peplum so this is how it's looking after i attach to my peplum very beautiful so right now i'll go ahead and attach the sleeve okay this is the outcome of my 720 degree peplum you can see how full it's looking if you want yours to stand very well you can use choose to use a quinoline or a hard state gummit okay so this is so that's it for this top thank you so much for watching please make sure you give it a thumbs up like share and subscribe see you in my next video